guys what's going on i hope you're all well today i'm back again with another video and the topic of today's video is eq so without further ado i'm going to get on with the video okay so here i've created a quick loop I'm just going to play what it sounds like yeah so you get the idea it's very simple doesn't it's not doesn't mean anything it's just to illustrate a point in fact i'm going to open musical keyboard too so to open up EQ in Logic Pro, you can either go to Audio FX and go into EQ and Channel EQ, stereo like that, or you can just simply click here and it opens it up. So this is I've got the EQ for this track. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a note. I'm going to play a note of this instrument and we're going to see what the EQ does. Sorry, you need, so but in fact, I'm going to do a quick explanation of EQ first. So along this line along the middle here is the line of all the frequencies in your sound. So basically, for example, in this sound, if I turn the analyzer on, which is in the bottom left hand corner, I can play a note. And on the graph, it shows all the sounds. Uh, it shows the frequency range that the sounds uh, that the sound is hitting. So in this sound, it's everywhere between 10k and 100 hertz. So it's a broad. I, I specifically this. I specifically chose this sound because it's very broad range. <clears throat> so what EQ does is it allows you to add or take away volume from certain frequency ranges within the sound. For example, if I wanted to take away the higher end of the sound, so we've got that there. I could use this button here, which is the high pass. So I click it to, to make sure it's on. And then when you click it, this button here on the top right, when you click it, there's a little red band here. And if you click the button, you can drag it across. And what this means is every sound that's with that's within the red highlighted area, the music, the um, the music won't play in that area. Sorry, this is a low. This is a low pass. Sorry, not a high pass. A low pass. So every sound that's that's not in the red highlighted area will be allowed to pass through. So as you can, as I can demonstrate here. So see how that's taken out all of the high end, which is why it's called a low pass because it allows the low sound to pass through and it takes away the high sound. So as you, I'm going to play this loop and I'm just going to show you how the high pass affects it, just to illustrate the point. So as you can see at this point, only the low, very low sounds are playing, and the graph actually shows this as well. So there's loads of activity around this around this range, which is allowing the frequencies through, but in all of this range, there's no activity at all. And right in the bottom left-hand corner, it says, if you've got good well, eyesight, you'll be able to see this. It says post. So that means uh, the graph is analysing it after the EQ is applied. Whereas if we click this little button here, right in the corner. You can see the graph ignoring the EQ, so what the sound originally was. So as you can see, all around here, the um, the frequencies are still there. So it's showing how. But if you go onto post again, then it shows how the sounds affected. So the first the first graph was how it what the sound was originally. The second graph is how the sound is now. So yeah, that gives you a quick idea of the low pass function. I take away the high sounds now you can do the exact opposite of that with the high pass function so if i play a note again you can see there's still quite a bit of low end frequencies in this sound so if i click this button at the top left and do the same thing click on the little red dot and you can sweep away and in the same way anything any sounds that would appear in this red block will now no longer be heard so only the only the higher frequency range sounds will be heard. So I'll play the loop and I'll show and you can listen to how it affects it. So as you can hear, the bass gets taken out more and more the higher you go up. So 
this is simple it's a really simple function and it's really really helpful for mixing and changing your sounds which I'll go into more in depth if post down below in the comments if you want a more in-depth series on EQ I can do one and I'm going to go through how I use EQ to mix in my other series and making a lot making a rap beat in Logic Pro now in the middle this is another function of EQ in the middle you've got all these bands and you can prep you can lift these up say if I wanted to get the 1k range to stick out in the mix say I wanted the one every all the sounds at the 1k range to be louder so I could click on that click up here to turn it on and drag it drag it up here so we'll see so I'll show you how this affects the sound I'll just play this loop so as you can hear there that made all the sounds at the 1k range a lot louder now you can also do this by you could if you wanted a wider range near the 1k like if you look at this band it's affecting everything from all the way down here to all the way here but if you wanted it to just affect a really specific range you could narrow it using this button by clicking on one of these lines and dragging it in and then it would just affect the highlighted area by 1k now you can also use EQ in a similar way to take the sound away so if you wanted, if you thought the 1K range is too loud, then you could take it below this zero, below this line, and it would take the sound away. So you can hear it like this. And if you make the sound wider, it will take more sound away like that. So this is just a very simple uh, video on. EQ and some basic uses of it. If you found it helpful, please like. Don't forget to subscribe and share because that really helps my channel. And comment down below what kind of videos you want to see from me next. Comment if you think I should do a extended series of EQ or because today I just wanted to do a brief video, just a basic summary of what it is. And if if you want a more comprehensive guide, I could do a full series going into detail about when you use what types of EQ, for what purposes, and I think that might be helpful. And I'm going to go into, I'll go into that a bit in my rap beat tutorial uh, series. But for now, this is today's video done, just a short one. So I hope it's helped you, and I hope you've got a better idea of what EQ is about now. So um, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, the lot. And I'll be coming at you with frequent videos, so stay tuned for those. I've got an upload coming on Thursday and Sunday, something a bit different, a bit, bit more exciting maybe. Um, but yeah, let's. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.